So it's been just a little bit since I've uh, turned the camera on on this project. Been just kind of working on this boat, um, you know, just our here, our there kind of deal. Um, anyway, I'm to a point now where I kind of thought I'd share you got with you guys what the progress I've made. So the uh, the trailer, please excuse the mess in my shop, but. Uh, so the trailer is all but complete. Um, you can see I've got the fenders on there. I've got just a little bit of welding left to do there. Uh, let me come around here and show you this. So the tongue of the trailer is all but complete. Uh, finished grinding and such, but that's kind of how, how the tongue, I, I've changed this tongue several times during this build. This is the final. This is all braced up. That cross member used to be sitting like that, and I ended up moving it up and horizontal to give me. Since the trailer's so long, I uh, it wasn't really didn't really need it in the front of the boat, and it really uh, made the trailer sit low. So I moved that up, got the tongue in, uh, plate welded. There's the big winch there. Put the uh, the tie down on the boat. So the boat. Sitting right now looks like this. I've got some uh, some cross bracing in the front to help give me some support. The boat right now as it sits is completely uh, watertight. It's a floating hull. I've also managed to finally get this motor and I finally managed to get it mounted. Uh, this was actually quite the process getting this motor, but uh, I'm happy I ended up with it. This is a brand new Mercury Pro four stroke supercharged 200 horse. So it's a beast of a motor. Just keep in mind that transom from that point to there is 42 inches tall. And that motor sits way, way up there. So I got the jack plate mounted also. Uh, that's all mounted. Looks good. Everything bolted up real nice for that. Uh, like I said, still have to get everything hooked up. So what I'm working on now is the gunnel. So you can see here, focus. So anyway, you can see here, I've got this piece of pipe welded right here, and I've got it tacked on the side of the rail. And you kind of get the idea of what it's looking like, like down through there. This is gonna be my rub rail. So if I'm ever docking against anything that's flat, this is what's gonna hit. And then you can remember those rips that I made, four inches off of this is gonna set out flat somewhere in the middle of this pipe. And then that's gonna make my gunnel. I'm gonna weld gussets all the inside. So uh, really, really transform this boat. It looks good. It doesn't really look like it does it justice on the camera. But uh, anyway, motor's on there. All right, wow. Tell I've got some sun this weekend. Anyway. So we're back to working on the boat and uh, I've pretty much all but finished up the gunnel on the uh, the one side and I just kind of wanted to show this to you how I put this gunnel together and then that way I'll kind of video the, the building of the other side so that way you guys kind of understand how I'm building this thing and how I'm putting it together because you know there's actually a lot that goes on into this, this gunnel system that I've kind of designed so to speak so let me just kind of show you what I've got going on here. So basically what I wanted is I wanted a, a narrow gunnel uh, that had a track system in it as well as the, the rub rail basically. Now uh, many of you guys have probably seen the, the track system. I think a Lumacraft calls there the Luma track and there's a Lund calls there something else. And basically what it is is it's a, it's a track system built into the gunnel that allows you to take um, basically a carriage bolt and and work the carriage bolt lengthwise along the bolt or along the boat rather, and uh, you can bolt different accessories on. So you kind of got the you know the whole boat to basically move your stuff around without having to drill holes. So I wanted that myself. Now most of these uh, these gunnel track systems that are into these boats are built they're extruded aluminum. Uh, that is built into the gunnel itself. So I had to come up with a system that would work for my situation. So what I did was I built this gunnel in three pieces. The first thing I did is if you can see this outside here, 
This is a piece of half inch aluminum piping, real thick wall piping. And I welded that to the very outside of the boat first. And what this does is, this gives me that separation so if ever I need to tie up to a boat dock, um, you know, that's straight up and down, this will hit first. This is a, basically a rub rail. A lot of the boats will have like a rubberized rub rail and I'm just going just aluminum. But that also kind of gives some dimension to the boat. So that's sticking out. Now next, I needed to make my track system. So what I ended up doing was I bought a whole bunch of these, uh, this T-Track system. And what this is, this is for like router tables or table saw guides. Um, and it's uh, basically just an extruded piece. Let me see if it'll focus. There it goes. It, it's an extruded piece of aluminum, about three quarter inches tall or so, about an inch tall, three quarter inch tall. And it's got a, the basic T-Track system in it. So what I did was, because my spool gun is, uh, is too big, I had to weld this to my gunnel material first. And then I could set the whole thing up. So what I did was I laid all these pieces together. Here, let me see if that'll focus there. There you can see is one of the joints. It'll focus. There's one of the joints. These are in four foot sections and they're running the entire length of the boat. You can see they came out very seamless. Very happy with those. I welded those on the back side. So the gunnel looks very, very clean. And now basically what I've done is I've got 25 feet of track system in this boat. And uh, once that was welded, then I started tacking on the gunnel from one end to the other. I got a, a very seamless look there. And then it goes down and goes full length. So turned out really nice. There's three pieces involved and actually quite a bit of work. So now you can see I've got a nice flat, uh, basically a four inch wide gunnel here. I, I don't like the big wide gunnels. I like these nice, it's just, just enough for a step. Uh, the transom, I still haven't made the decision, but if I want to, I can take and I can weld on and I can put wings on the back part of this boat, like you see on commercial boats. And it'll still give it a nice look. I can cap it with a piece of pipe. Um, nevertheless, I've got the gun all about done. The track system, it works great. Uh, all I have to do is just make some plates. You can see I've got a, a bolt in here. I can do whatever I want. Now, as far as my, uh, my tie-down cleats, now traditionally your cleats are on top of your gunnel, but I think the cleaner look is to have a nice smooth gunnel. Uh, so I've got these cleats here. I've got six of these that I'm gonna put throughout the boat, three on each side, and they're kind of a fold-down cleat. Uh, you can see they, they sit, they sit proud of the, uh, of the gunnel a little ways, and then they, they flip up. Now, the only problem with, well, with mounting your cleats on is, uh, you know, like whenever I go up to Canada or go down south fishing, a lot of times your docks are, uh, you know, the cleats that you tie up are different. You've got to have, you know, long lengths between ropes. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is forego mounting the, the cleats to the gunnel itself and just making some, uh, some plates where I can weld my, make my cleats and mount them onto the track system. That'll give me a very clean look uh, to top my gunnel, and I can still be able to use my cleats. And then I'll be able to, uh, to also move them straight in line with whatever cleats I'm tying up to. So anyway, that's just kind of the rundown of the, uh, of the gunnel system. You can see that's been welded, and it's been welded full length on the outside and ground. I followed that radius, so it's a nice smooth transition. On the inside here, that's nice smooth all the way down. I'm going to take a grinder and just remove that sharp edge on the inside and the gunnel will be done on this side. So anyway guys, I will set you up um, for a, a time lapse of the, of the next side. One thing I did find out, um, kind of a happy accident, if you look down, down the boat, you can see I've got quite the curve that this is actually making and I didn't have to cut any reliefs 
into the aluminum due to the fact that uh, by welding on the T-track to the underside of this aluminum, because of the way aluminum acts whenever it's heated, the, the whole piece of four inch actually bowed and, and started to banana and it, it did it in my favor. So where the whole piece, uh, whole piece was, was curved in my favor and it was a lot easier to get, get this thing, uh, get this thing tacked on and welded. So like I said, it was a happy accident and I'm glad it, uh, glad it happened that way. So hopefully it'll go right on the other side. But like I said, guys, these are things that I've never done all. I'm winging this whole whole project, but it's coming together real nice. So I'll set you up for a time lapse, and uh, we'll get this other gunnel. I've got all the pieces pieces down there ready to go. I'm, I'm running out of room in my shop. This boat's getting bigger and bigger, but it's uh, it's becoming more and more complete by the day. So I'll set you up for the time lapse. We'll get this gunnel welded up, and then there's a lot of grinding involved to get it to look this clean, and uh, we'll move on. I know a lot of you guys will say, uh, well, why don't you just leave all the welds exposed? And that is honestly personal preference. Uh, you can see that nice clean rolled look down on the, uh, the spray rail there. Nice clean, no welds. If I wanted to leave them, I could. It would be no problem. You just have a you end up basically seeing a weld bead right there all the way down and you know it's personal preference uh there's a lot of grinding involved uh in, in making it this clean but i think it gives it a very nice appearance uh, especially once it's painted so anyway strictly personal preference uh i don't have to do it i i did it because i wanted to for those of you that i know are going to ask so anyway the boat's really starting to come together I love the way the, the curves it, uh, you know, the boat are forming, everything I add. So, very happy I went with the 28 inch sides. I think it'll work fine. I don't think it'll be too much of a sail out on the water, but I think it'll give me uh, the amount of coverage that I need also. So, I'm gonna quit rambling here, set you up for a time lapse, and uh, we'll get going. Alright, so what you guys just saw me do here was um, I welded the rubber rail on. So there it is. All the way down. It's welded, let's say every three and a half, four inches, all the way down. Very, very sturdy. Just on the top, not on the bottom, so you don't see the weld bead on the bottom. Give you an eye, it kind of looks down and through. Looks real nice. So anyway, that's the first part. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my piece of four inch, uh, my piece of four inch rip that I use. And now all this has kind of been planned out from the get go. The four inch rip is actually what I ripped off the very bottom of the boat. So I'm gonna get that out. I'm gonna set this on. I'm gonna mark my ends because I notch my ends. And then uh, I'll take that down, set it on the ground, and I'll weld on my track system. And by welding on that track system, that'll put that bow back into that uh, that rip, and then we'll set it up here. We'll start clamping and torquing it around, and we're gonna weld, you know, about three quarters away down uh, or outside of this this pipe. This is real heavy gauge pipe, so it'll take a hit and uh, weld a full length on it, and then I can grind it off, and it'll look all smooth. So anyway, get that set up for you. All right, so I just got done, finished welding. I don't know if you can see that, but it picked up a hell of a curl. Just like I said it was going to. <coughs> In this case, it's actually helping me. Uh, so, use this curl to my advantage. It's gonna 
gonna make it a lot easier to get this to the boat. I'm gonna look and see. I'm hoping the time lapse will actually catch it, uh, kind of warping in in real time. But anyway, this is a happy accident that I stumbled upon, and if I ever do this again, I'll definitely uh, use this technique because it'd be a pain to try to get this piece uh, torqued in there, you know, being completely straight. But this saves me half the work.